Good morning, children. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Pikirti. I am from Amlapuram. but currently staying in Kakinada. I was born on 6th September 1984. I belong to a joint family. I have five sisters and four brothers. I am a married person and I have two, two children. My qualification is M.A. Beard. I did my master's at KZ Yarral PZ College, Bhimavaram, West Godavari District, in 2007. And I have completed my BA at VS Lashmi Women's College, Kaknada. In 2012, I am an introvert person. I have 8 years of teaching experience. I have started my teaching at social welfare School, Ramaneya Peta, Kaginada. Now I am working as a CRT of English at KGB Vishankavaram, East Godavari District. My hobbies are Watching TV, reading books, gardening, and making craft. I like listening to music, discipline, and hard work. My dislikes are wasting of time by talking and sleeping at daytime. In leisure time, I am making Craft material. My strengths are hard working and my family. I cannot easily trust the people. My weakness is my family. I am doing my job with nice colleagues and good atmosphere. My aim is to become a good teacher. 
my goal is to get government job children before going to the lesson i want to share one thing with you that is about corona today in our society we are facing the most dangerous disease is corona nowadays it collapses everything due to this so many countries economical position is also destroyed simply in one word due to this corona all fields are destroyed so that i would like to explain a few things about corona at first i will explain how to avoid corona after that i will explain how to take precautions when it is getting children look at the picture shows wash your hands frequently means in every hour wash your hands with the proper sanitizer or soap look at the picture too cough and sneeze into the elbows means while we are getting sneeze don't use your fingers to keep out on the time you should use your elbow or tissue when we get cough don't open your mouth at public simply by using your elbow we can leave it look at the picture 3 dispose of used tissues immediately it means you can throw tissues and other things into dustbin look at the picture 4 avoid contact with others it means don't give shake hands and hugs with other people look at the picture 5 avoid crowd and public gathering it means you don't go to shopping malls functions and most important thing is you don't attend to festivals also look at the picture 6 avoid touching the face it means don't touch your face with hands without sanitization 
Look at the picture 7. Clean the surfaces. It means wash your floors with proper germs liquid and especially wash the materials and things which are taken from outside. Look at the picture 8. Avoid all non-essential travel. It means better you can avoid unnecessary journeys. If it is too important, better make a phone call and tell them the situation. Look at the picture 9. The most undesirable thing is wearing of mask. Everyone should wear standard masks like N95. By taking all these precautions, we can avoid corona. Even if you are following all the above steps, sometimes you may get corona. If you are getting, don't be panic, be strong. Now I will explain 5 precautions to get negative result from positive. First one is take vitamin tablets. Everyone should follow medication and suggestions which are given by doctor. Second one is eat healthy food. In food, you have to maintain proteins, vitamins, iron, and fiber. Third one is taking of steam. Daily you can take steam twice or thrice by using vaporizers. You can get proper steam to breathe. Fourth one is isolate yourself. It means sanitize your surroundings and cloths and especially clean the things. Those are vegetables or anything which are coming from outside and take hot water and drink. And the last important thing is that if you feel uneasy or getting any problems immediately you can make a phone call to the doctor before going to the hospital. Good morning children. Today I would like to explain the most interesting topic. Are you ready to listen? Before going to the topic, I want to show one thing for you. Look at the pictures. There we can observe two pictures. At picture one, we observe four members. Generally, we call them as small family. You don't call it as small family. Call it as nuclear family. In nuclear family, we observe four or five members. 
at picture 2 we observe more than 5 members generally we call them as big family you don't call it as big family call it as joint family in joint family we observe 10 or 15 or 30 members children nowadays in our society we observe mostly nuclear families at some places we observe joint families because our lifestyle is changing day by day and people are settled at different different places for their survival so that we observe nuclear families Today our lesson is the tattered blanket. Tattered means old one or bad one. Blanket means a cover made of wool. Generally we are using blanket in winter season. Isn't it? Tattered blanket means old blanket or bad blanket. In Telugu, it is called Chirigina Dupati or Pada Dupati. Now I am moving to the lesson. Children, now I am moving to the lesson. The tattered blanket. When he arrived unexpectedly at his home in the countryside in his office car and got down at the gate, his mother, who was lying in an 
आर्म चायर ऑन द वरंडा मेड ये फ्यूटाइल एटम टू गेटअप कमला देर इज समबडी एट द गेट शी सैड समबडी इज इन ए कार Kamala her eldest daughter a widow who was sitting huddled up on the thinna on the oranda her head an ears covered with a thin bath towel got up reluctantly walked slowly to the gate and screwing up her eyes peered into the darkness she saw a ball fat middle aged man walking in through the gate how oh, gopi she said in her greeting voice why this sudden unexpected visit Kamala who is it her mother asked loudly from the veranda Gopi the man said there was a meeting in tiruvananthapuram i just dropped in on my way back who kamala who is it there was a note of alarm in amma's voice amma why are you so scared kamala gopi's eldest sister asked her a little awkwardly as if you are seeing gopi for the first time amma it's me gopi he said again he bent down and brought his face to close her wrinkled cheeks 
அம்மா இட்ஸ் மீ கோபி கமலா ஐ கான் பிலீவ் இட் ஆஸ் ஹி ஸ்கூல் க்ளோஸ்ட் ஃபார் வெகேஷன் amma is often like this these days she does not recognize anybody gopi sister explain but sometimes her memory is quite sharp then she asked me if you have sent any letter i tell her everything is fine with you vimala on the kids what is the point of telling her that you have not written for a year poor thing i would not dream of making her unhappy i got a promotion last year after that i am always on my toes and there are tours quite often i don't get any time to write letters why don't you ask vimala to write or does not she get any time to what are you mumbling over there amma said loudly i heard somebody coming in a car who is it I told you it's Gopi. But Gopi is in Delhi. Isn't he? Yes, Amma. It's me. I have come from Delhi. when he arrived unexpectedly at his home in the countryside in his office car and got down at the gate his mother who was lying in an armchair on the veranda made a futile attempt to get up kamala there is somebody at the gate she said somebody is in a car kamala her eldest daughter a widow who was sitting huddled up on the thina on the veranda her head and ears covered with a thin bath towel got up reluctantly 
walked slowly to the gate unscrewing up her eyes peer into the darkness when we observe this paragraph new words are observed those are futile huddled up till now reluctantly screwing up unpaid now we have to learn the meaning of them futile means unsuccessful and not getting result huddled up means to close or side by side thinna means floor reluctantly means not interested screwing up means watching of something with zooming by eyes peer means look something with concentration
Now, children, I am explaining the meaning of the above paragraph. There is a village and we observe daughter and mother. They are sitting side by side at the veranda. Daughter is sitting on the floor. Her name is Kamala. She is the eldest daughter of her mother. She is a widow. So that she is wearing white sari on her face, ears are covered with a bath towel. Her mother is sitting on the chair. And they are discussing something. Suddenly, a man came to her house by on his office car. And he was coming through the gate And he found his mother on the chair. At the time, she was trying to get up from the chair. But she can't do anything because of her ears. Same time, Kamala was watching the gates with concentration. Children, look at the textbook for continuation. She saw a bald, fat, middle-aged man walking in through the gate. Oh, Gopi, she said in her greeting voice. Why this sudden unexpected visit? Kamala, who is it? Her mother asked loudly from the veranda. Gopi, the man said. There was a meeting in Tiruvannathapuram. I just dropped in on my way back. Who? Kamala, who is it? There was a note of alarm in Amma's voice. Amma, why are you so scared? Kamala, Gopi's eldest sister, asked her a little awkwardly. As if you are seeing Gopi for the first time, Amma, it's me, Gopi, he said again. 
he bent down and brought his face close to her wrinkled cheeks amma it's me gopi kamala i can't believe it as his school closed for vacation vacation children when we observe this paragraph new words are observed those are alarm awkwardly and wrinkled cheeks now we have to learn the meaning of them alarm means fear or scaring awkwardly means feeling difficulty wrinkled cheeks means slight folds on face Now children I am explaining the 
meaning of the above paragraph. Kamala found a person at the gate who has bald, fat and middle age. And she decided that him as her brother. And he was asked by a question. That is, Why did you visit home unexpectedly? After this, Her mother is asking with loud voice like this. Who is it? There Kamala observed fear in Amma's voice. Gopi replied that I had a meeting in Tiruvannathapuram. So that I came back to home on my way. Kamala asked her mother the reason behind the fear and asked a question. Are you seeing the gopi for the first time? Again Gopi said, Amma, it's me. But his mother does not recognize. After that, Gopi bent down and kept his face to her wrinkled cheeks. Again said, Amma, it's me. She thought that her son was studying in school and was closed for vacation. Children, look at the textbook for continuation. Amma is often like this these days. She does not recognize anybody. Gopi's sister explained. But sometimes her memory is quite sharp. Then she asked me if you have sent any letter. I tell her everything is fine with you, Vimala and the kids. What is the point of telling her that you have not written for a year? Poor thing. I wouldn't dream of making her unhappy. In above paragraph, we can't observe new words.
Now I want to explain the meaning of above paragraph. Kamala said to her brother, Amma does not recognize anybody now. And she is often like these days. But sometimes I mesmerize her with her memory that is quite short. And she is inquired about the letters which are coming from the sun. So I tell to mother is that everything is fine, Vimala and kids also. If I tell the truth with her, that you have not written any letters for a year, she may get tears and become unhappy. So that I don't want to keep her in sad mood. Children, look at the textbook for continuation for page number 4. I got your promotion last year. After that, I am always on my toes. And there are tours quite often. I don't get any time to write letters. Why don't you ask Vimala to write? Or does not she get any time to? What are you mumbling over there? Amma said loudly. I heard somebody coming in a car. Who is it? I told you it's Gopi. But Gopi is in Delhi. Is not he? Yes, Amma, it's me. I have come from Delhi. Children, there we can observe one new word that is mumbling. Mumbling means speaking unclearly.
Gopi replied to his sister, Last year I got promotion and I am so busy with my works and sometime moving to tours also. So that I don't have any time to write a letter. Kamala asked her brother like this. Why don't you ask Vimla to write a letter to Amma? Does not she has any time? While conversation is going on, Amma asked Kamala with loud voice, Who is it? I heard that somebody coming in a car. Again Gopi said, Amma, it's me. His mother telling, he is in Delhi, he is not he. Gopi replied that he was coming from Delhi. Children, I hope you understand well. Today I am going to give some work regarding the lesson. Everyone should do all these things without fail. Now the student activity. First one, read and learn the meaning of new words and post them properly in 8th class teacher WhatsApp group. And second one is find out the nuclear family and join family in your relatives. And third one is Find out the adverbs in our today's lesson. And every student has to post them in WhatsApp group again. Okay children, I will explain the remaining part in next session. Thank you so much.